Welcome IronCAD fans. This is a video to show you how to export your IronCAD models to STL for 3D printing. To get started, load up your file, and if you have an assembly or a multiple part file, you can use the export command at the top, which will export everything in your file. Or if you want to export a particular part, just select down to that uh, part level, right click, and select export, and it'll export just that particular file. Uh, this will bring up your export file dialog where you can select your file types. In our case, we want to use STL or sterile lithography, which will be found at the bottom of the list. Go ahead and select that and give your file a name and then just export your file. Next, it'll bring up your settings dialog where you can choose the units that you want to use, uh, the type of uh, end of line, which can be PC, Unix, or Max that you're going to. In our case, we're just going to use PC. And the primary thing that you would be concerned about is the accuracy. So a course is a low level accuracy file. Um, it's okay to use, uh, but sometimes it might produce gaps if you have a lot of uh, small areas in your file. Uh, typically for uh, printing to 3D printers, we use Fine, uh, which is just a higher quality setting. Uh, you don't have to do any adjustments, just select the option and hit Export. Or if you want to be very precise, you can go to Custom, which will give you a lot more controls down here. You can turn on the Preview as well to see uh, what happens when you change this. For example, if you change the surface, which is actually your faceting, uh, for your model, you can see that it's being a very coarse or very fine uh, fastening level by just uh, adjusting the slider or you can put input values in here. For example, if you type in 4 for the angle tolerance, you can see that will adjust your fastening for it as well. And your surface deviation is another factor that you can adjust down to really small uh, fastening levels. What this will do is the higher this goes, the larger your file is, and it takes a little longer to export and import, but will give you a, a much finer STL file for using for your 3D printing process. In our case, this is a good setting, and we're just going to hit OK. You don't have to worry about binary export, uh, but uh, you can use that if uh, some of your systems for 3D printing can use that. Uh, it's not necessary for most 3D printers nowadays, but just go ahead and hit OK. This will export your file, and when it's completed, it will pop up a dialog telling you that it's been uh, completed and some of the statistics. Again, the higher you adjust that surface and uh, other options inside of there, the higher this number will go up uh, in your export dialog. Next, just go into your 3D printer software. Uh, we have a MakerBot uh, printing software here, but it could be any 3D printing software that you use for your, their, your own 3D printer. And essentially, you go into your imports uh, options and insert your file. In our case, it's the uh, fan STL that we just exported. And we'll bring this file in. Again, it typically could take longer if you had a higher facet count. Uh, it could take a little longer to import. But once you uh, get that file into your, your system, in our case, we've got it added to our plate volume here, we can make some adjustments to get it prepared for 3D printing. In our case, we could add multiples to this, or in our case, we maybe want to scale it a little bit larger. Let's make it a 200. We can see that adjust. We can also arrange this to be centered on our, our platform. And we'll close that dialog, and we can kind of see that it's all set there. We can see the model placed on our print volume and whatever orientation we can adjust it and get it prepared for the 3D print. And essentially, we just connect it to our printer and go ahead and print it. So a very simple process in IronCAD, just loading up your model, exporting STL, setting your various settings uh, and your quality settings for your STL, and then simply load it into your print uh, software and print it away. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one.